Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? Huh. You have a point. But as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are gonna need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. Why have I never seen this? I thought I knew every dino on this island. I wonder what the outside world's gonna think of all this. Dr. Sorkin... As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place, you have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Well, obviously that's true. If only the board had listened to my proposals. Instead, they just contribute to the paperwork in the file boxes you guys are loading. Look, Dr. Sorkin, we already caught one unauthorized trespasser. Who knows who else is on the island? Your life may be in danger. I'll take my chances, thank you. We gotta get back because, uh, you never know if a prisoner could ever relapse or something. Highly unlikely. Please, ma'am, if we don't get you back, I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble. I'll probably lose my job. Well, I don't wish that on anyone, Mr. Yoder, but I'm afraid it can't be helped. I can't abandon these dinosaurs just so you have a job. Trust me, there is a very good reason. Well, come back when you think of one. So how did you know to treat her with a tranquilizer? Unfortunately, this is... So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And InGen didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. What's the point of rebuilding? Hammond will kowtow to the major shareholders and cut every corner to recoup their investment as fast as possible. With no regard to the animal's welfare. Hammond decide. What about our patient? I'm sorry. Dr. Sorkin. Why do you think interrupting me is going to work this time? Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean, it's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He... Told him to stay away from the quarantine. Oh, Dr. Depends. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it. And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs Behavioral Program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back, along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool.
I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding. Despite the circumstances, we've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls? Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? I don't know, but the Parasaurolophus do. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various Parasaur sounds that play through them. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The Parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. So, what do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out, but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. If we want to move the dinosaurs forward, we might need to give them a good scare from behind. Oh, we can use the danger call. Good thinking. Dr. Harding? Yeah? Activate the danger speakers. How come that one never moved? That one stands guard to make sure all the others are safe. Even when there's a danger call? The lookout's the one that makes the danger call. When there are predators around, she'll stand her ground, drawing attention away from the other dinos. 